what's up everyone? Look at me, I'm Italian. The family, that's what I'm reviewing. Hey, you mook. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for The Family, starring Robert De Niro, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Tommy Lee Jones, which is a, a story about a family trying to get together, you know, going to Paris, trying to fit in, killing people. Yeah, uh, it's a story about Robert De Niro uh, and Michelle Pfeiffer and their two kids. Uh, trying to fit in in Paris after snitching on their mafia friends, I guess. I don't, they don't really explain too much about that, but they snitch on their mafia family for whatever reason. I, I don't remember, but they do, and now they're in witness protection, and now they they went to Paris because they had like a bunch of different houses before for witness protection, but they kept screwing it up because they're psychopaths. So now they're in Paris, and they have to fit in. That's pretty much the story. I already did the story. Damn, there you go. That's the story. And, oh wait, no, I, I, I forgot one part. The family that they snitched on is actually still trying to look for them. And maybe, just maybe, in this movie, who knows, the mafia might actually find them. Ooh. Ooh. So, there you go. That's the story, and that's the intro, too. I mean, I wasn't really looking forward to this film, but I thought the trailer itself looked okay. It was directed by Luke Passan, and I love Leon the Professional, so I always hope that he'll make another freaking amazing movie. But, uh... Was the family good? Well, I would say let's talk about the story, but I already did that. This is a weird review, <laughs> so uh, let's, let's talk about something else. I guess I can explain a little bit more about the story. Of course, it follows Robert De Niro, who plays Giovanni, who I guess snitched on his uh, mafia family, I guess, for I don't know why they didn't explain, like I said. But anyway, he did. Uh, this is like his third, fourth, fifth uh, witness protection house that he's in because he's always screwed the other ones up because, you know, they're, they're psychopaths. They go and beat people up when, you know, they, they treat them wrong or whatever. You know, they do they do their mafia thing, you know, cut their feet off and feed it to them. I guess that's what they do. Um, and they're in Paris now. They have to fit in. And of course, ooh, the wacky foreigners in Paris. You know where that's going to go. Stuff blows up, people die, and of course, the Mafia is still looking for them, like I said. So, there you go. There's the story. I just redid the exact same thing I just said. Right. I'm going to give the story a little bit of credit here. It has Robert De Niro in it, and it does not have stupid slapstick humor, uh, poop jokes, uh, fart jokes, pee jokes. It doesn't have Ben Stiller in it, and it doesn't have Katherine Heigl in it. Thank God, because in the last few years, that's all we've been getting from him. Okay, with the exception of a movie like Silver Linings Playbook where he's fantastic, for the most part he only does really crappy romantic comedies or just stupid, you know, slapstick humor comedies, whatever, just comedies in general. And maybe he'll do a drama here and there that might go straight to DVD or something, but for the most part he hasn't been doing anything amazing besides Silver, Lining Play, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. And here he's the main star, and luckily, even though it is a comedy and sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, it's still very violent, very serious at times. And he is very good in the role. He's really, really likable. Uh, I don't know, you just get behind him. Even if he does some really screwed up stuff at times, him and his family, he's still really likable, along with his family. Michelle Pfeiffer is great here. Uh, she's a tough, tough uh, Italian woman. She is. And I really liked her in the role. Uh, uh, their two kids, I can't remember their, uh, the actor's names. But I can't remember the characters' names either. But they were great as well. You got the 14-year-old kid who's like a, a pretty much a genius. He's uh, pretty much going to grow up to be Robert De Niro. Uh, and he's great in the role. And I can't remember the girl's name. But to be honest, she was actually a little bit annoying at times. But for the most part, she's pretty badass here. She whips some ass. And she actually looks pretty good doing it. Good job. Um, so the acting here is really good. Oh, also, you know, of course, Tommy Lee Jones, who comes in and, you know, plays... Uh, the witness protection guy that, you know, goes in and sees how they're doing as a family and whatnot. And he is great in the role as well. And actually, he has a lot of really funny moments where he's just staring at Robert De Niro, just like, I'm going to kill you, you bastard. And <laughs> I love it, actually. He's great in the role. So, you know, what? overall, I think the acting is great here. The story itself isn't fantastic at all. There's a lot of really stupid jokes. Mind you, not slapstick jokes, but a lot of really silly ones. Like, there's one where they reference, not even reference, but they pretty much say, Hey, we're going to watch uh, Goodfellas. And Robert De Niro's like, Yeah, I'm going to watch this. And I'm like, Oh, come on, man. Just take me out of the movie completely. But uh, even though there's some dumb jokes, it's not fart humor or whatever. So, thank God for that. Uh, and the story itself, while it's predictable, you know where it's going to go. It's violent. You got that. It's actually really violent at times. So, you know what? Good. 
So, like I said, the story is predictable. You know where it's going to go. Exactly. To a T, you know where it's going to go. And while there is a lot of really dumb jokes, and it is predictable, I still enjoyed it. I like the characters. I like when it does get violent, even though some people probably aren't going to like that. Me, I was like, oh, every time there's violence, I mean, it's not gory or anything. You see some blood sometimes, but it's suggested, and it's pretty damn good. And even though there is a lot of dumb jokes, there's actually some stuff where it's actually kind of funny leaning more to the violent side, you know, the, the violent comedy in the film. Whenever it gets violent, it's supposed to be funny, it's actually funny. But there is also a lot of times where there's jokes and it just doesn't work. Also, I really like the chemistry between all of the characters. I think that all works too. So for, for the most part, The Family is not an amazing film, but it's actually pretty enjoyable for the most part. You'll, you'll, be, you'll leave the film, you'll be like, hey, that was fun, and you'll probably forget about it. But you know what, you'll have a good time while you're in the theater. And, you know, that's good enough. So I'm going to give this a 27 out of a 40. I did enjoy the family. They're, they're, they're good family. They kill people. <laughs> cool. So there you go. I do the thumbs up a lot. And I slap my knees a lot. I don't know why I do that. But um, there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And goodbye.